called the Stellar Stock Report. Coach, tell us who made some money this week. Tell us whose stock rose this week. I like it. I like it. In the Stellar Stock Report, we only talk about people making money. That's it. We don't talk about the, the stock that's going down. We only giving love on this show. Give me my money. You know, so we only giving talking about people that's on the stock up. Here we go. Real quick, we got five guys on the list this week. All right. First guy, we got junior running back from Farrell High School, Jules Johnson. Okay. Jules been going to work the first two weeks. Week one, I believe he ran for 251 yards and five total touchdowns. When I think of when I watch Jules play, he just smooth. He real smooth. He one of them kids that don't even look like he moving that fast. Cause he's just so smooth, you know what I mean? Right, right. You he got what? like he got like a not to cut your wisdom. Well, he got like a Paul George from football yeah, type he, of game. He's smooth, like, he's right? Just real smooth. He like one of them type of kids. If he take his helmet off, he probably ain't even sweat. You know what I mean? He's just real smooth, but he, he's deceptive. He's a one cut running back. He could catch it out the backfield. And the one thing that stick out about Jules is I remember going over there watching Farrell practice in the preseason. He won almost every sprint. He was he was down on the end and one that he was isolating himself. You could tell just mentally he had himself in the mindset to dominate this year and it was starting in practice. So shout out to Jules. Um, I know we got YSU talking to him, West Virginia, Penn State, Marshall. So I won't be surprised if he get that first offer here soon. So shout out to Jules Johnson. Stock definitely going through the roof. All right. Our next two going to be from the same school, Avon High School. First, we're going to talk about senior quarterback Nolan Good. Nolan is a Kent State commit. So some people might be thinking, well, why are you on the stock report if you're a Kent State commit? I can easily see Nolan being one of them kids in December, January, some of them bigger schools trying to come get him at the end, trying to come grab him and steal him before the first or second um, signing period, depending on what it is. Because this dude a gamer, man. Like mm -hmm. when you look at him, he ain't 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, like some quarterbacks. He ain't a 4'5", four, 4'4", four, four, four guy like some quarterbacks, but he a gamer. He makes the right read. When he should run, he runs. When he should throw, he throws. Uh, his teammate respond to him, and he's a winner. So keep your eye on Nolan Good, senior quarterback at Avon. Keep your eye on him, all right? Staying at Avon, junior defensive back Jacob Weatherspoon. He a junior. He got over 15 offers. He got what I like to call the big three in the Midwest. He got Ohio State, Notre Dame, Michigan. Ooh. I wouldn't be surprised if after this season, if his stock yeah. keeps soaring the way it is, if he get into that next tier. When you get into that next tier, you start getting the bigger, the bigger schools outside the Midwest. When you start getting right. down south, looking at the Georgias, the LSUs, the Floridas, Miamis, uh, the Texases, the USCs, the Oregons, that's kind of that next tier he's looking yeah. to get into. Outside the normal pipeline. Outside the normal, uh, because we're in the Midwest. So in right. the Midwest, when you st when you start getting Ohio State, Notre Dame, Michigan, Penn State, in the Midwest, like, okay, that's 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 kind of top of it. But then once you get out of that, the next tier is kind of going into them other regions and them bigger programs coming back to offer you and want you. He's a corner or a free safety. I think he's going to be a free safety at college. He got ball skills. He had an interception this week against Cam McKinley. So keep your eye on Jacob Witherspoon, man. He a baller for sure at Avon. Avon got a couple of good ones. Or right, right, we got two more. Next one, senior quarterback, outside linebacker, Chaz Coleman, Warren G. Hardy. Over the last week, Chaz got an Ole Miss offer. He got a Kentucky offer. Um, I'm pretty sure Tennessee and Michigan State talking to him and maybe close to offering. If you watch Chaz week one against Cam McKinley, he put it all on display. Put, put it all, all on display, display. for sure. For um, sure. I know what Coach Rich and his coaching staff going to say he got to do it every week. You know what I mean? Not that he didn't do it last week, but that's what a good coaching staff is pushing you to be, to do it every week. If you're that good, you're that talented, we need you to do it every week. When you watch Chaz, you play quarterback. Um, at quarterback, he reminds you of like a high school version of Randall Cunningham. Um, long, athletic, can throw the deep ball, but he's more nimble than you give him credit for, being that he's 6'6, 225. But the more I watch him play, man, he looked like he looked like them SEC outside linebackers, man. 6'6, 225. He he's like gumby like. He can get low like Von Miller. He got a spin move. When he get to college, they put 20, 30, 35 pounds on him, and he still got that athleticism. He's going to be scary coming off that edge. So shout out to Chaz, man. Keep getting that money. You know, we got nothing but love for you here, man. Keep doing your thing. Stay locked in. Dominate every week. All right. Then our last kid we're going to talk about is Ursula Senior Office Alignment, Philip Bowser. Um, we're going to see him this week coming up. So I wanted to make sure I spoke on him and Jules a little bit. Philip got about 10 D1 offers. He kind of got the Mac and some of the lower tier which I'm, you know, not to disrespect the lower tier, just based on 
um, the tiers of recruiting. He had another kid like Nolan Good. I won't be surprised if you get to November, December, January, and those bigger programs kind of trying to come stilly. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times when you got kids um, that's committed to Kent State or got offers from the MAC, they want to stay loyal to those teams that have been recruiting them and been with them from the beginning. But it's tough, though, if, you know, you could be committed to Kent State or, or Akron or Toledo and then Illinois try to come. Right. Iowa, right, right. Syracuse. You know what I mean? Kind of that next tier of school. So keep your eye on Phillip, man. When you watch him play, he's a good puller. He's good on the move. Um, he's nasty. Like if you watch this dude play, he's nasty. He's trying to bury you in the ground. Um, so I won't be surprised if he's a right tackle at college, but he's a hell of a high school lineman. And uh, keep your eye on Philip Bowser this week, man. He's a good lineman. And, and you know, that's my stellar stock report for the week, man. Yeah, then the kids that's getting that money and the stock is soaring, baby. Absolutely, man.